Enes, welcome to AFC Bournemouth. How are you feeling? Thank you. I feel really good. Perfect first day. The team received me really, really good. Looks like a great group of people. And really happy to be here. You talk about your first day. It must be nice to get to meet the group and, and, and see the players that you're going to be playing with. Yeah, it was, it was really nice. You know, before I came here, uh, I've been talking with some people and they all say it's, it's a family club. The, the lads are really nice and I can see that today. Was one of those people Diego Rico? Because you're obviously a, a teammate of him in, in Getafe. Yes, I've been, I've been talking with Diego and he said all the, all the best things about the club, about the city, about the teammates. So that helped. And it was obviously a, a move that came quite late in the window. How, how did it all come about from your point of view? I mean, everything happened really fast, um, but I'm grateful for the trust that the uh, club put on me, uh, the Mr. Gaffer put on me, and I will try to repay this confidence and do my best. And you talk about the manager, as we were talking just before the interview, you said you played Andoni a number of times in Spain and, and could never beat him. Was he a key factor in you wanting to join AFC Bournemouth? Yes, of course, because I knew him and I talked with also players who played for him and everybody just talked amazing about him. And also when you play against him, you always suffered. We couldn't beat them, never. And yeah, that, that's a big point. And for the AFC Bournemouth supporters, how would you describe yourself as a player? <laughs> I mean, I, I don't like to talk about myself and, you know, it's, it's difficult to explain yourself, but I like to score goals as a striker. I like to assist my teammates, but the uh, um, most important thing for me is to be part of the team, part of the family and give my best, you know, every single day. I have that mentality of never giving up, you can see from my career. And in the pitch, I, I try to play the same way every day with a lot of patience, every single game. And I can just promise that, you know, I will give my everything every single minute. There's not going to be shortcuts, stealing things. That's, that's never going to be negotiation and yeah. And you talk about scoring goals. Only Karim Benzema scored more goals than you in the last two seasons in the Liga. You're someone that seems to be uh, enjoying a, a, an excellent part of your career. You must be excited to bring that to the Premier League. Yeah, of course. Uh, I had amazing seasons and I've, I'm in this flow of the years also, you know, that everything connects as a striker because you can see with a lot of strikers in my age, in this years, the, you know, feeling in the pitch, everything, the feeling for the goal. Yeah, I feel that also. Everything clicks and I feel ready for this great challenge. And talking about strikers who are, who are feeling the goals at the moment, Dominic Solanke, who's going to be your counterpart here, he is one of the best strikers in the Premier League. You must be looking forward to, to playing up alongside him or uh, trying to take his place. Yeah, you know, with uh, Dominic, I, I played against him, I don't know, 18 years ago or something we played against each other and eight years ago in national team. So I always knew him and he's a great player. I followed his career. He, he had uh, also um, struggles like I had, but like what I said, we are, in, we are from same generation, same age group and everything clicks for him also. He's an unbelievable player. And now I'm coming new and my, my role is to push him to the limit that he will be even better and that will make myself better also. And hopefully we can play together or however the coach chooses. You've obviously been in England before, uh, spent two years at Manchester City, but obviously you didn't spend a lot of time in England. but. As someone who's as well travelled as you are, you must feel ready to adapt quickly. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I mean, I've been part of a lot of clubs and it's, I, I played in four different countries. This is going to be the fifth. So that's, that's not a big problem. I can, I can speak a couple of languages 
and even there is languages I, I can't speak, but I know a lot of words and yeah. And the, you know, when the dressing room is good and the feeling is good, it's easy to adapt it. And I think that's going to be the case here. And it's obviously a very exciting 2024 for you, obviously coming to the Premier League and then the European Championships in the summer. Um, you must be just looking forward to, to the adventures ahead. Yes, but I'm not even thinking that far away. I'm just here. And like I say, I have this mentality of day by day and every single day. So that's really important for me. So that's going to be my focus. And it's Fulham this weekend. Um, how are you feeling in terms of being ready to, to be part of the squad? I feel good. I feel yeah, ready to go. Cool. And just finally, what would your message be to AFC, AFC Bournemouth supporters? Yeah, I can't wait to meet them and I just see the stadium and it feels like when it's full it's going to be a great experience and great atmosphere. So just excited and...